Lula Mae Blockton, Professor of Art in Painting and Drawing, earned her MFA from Indiana University. Her work has appeared in many publications and in the collections of the Albright Knox Museum, the Prudential Life Insurance Company, the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture, and the Aldrich Museum of Contemporary Art. Well, I think that I always knew I wanted to be an artist. It was just the fact that I had to choose the training if I wanted to pursue the training. Um, as, a, as a young child, I always played with, um, with media, with, it, with any kind of uh, things I could get my hands on. Main influence was uh, was was New York, living in in New York City in Manhattan. Uh, the paintings and drawings started. Uh, I would say my professional uh, career started, uh, and ideas started when living in New York. Um, the, the painting started with an influence of weaving, and an influence of vertical and horizontal. Uh, which you can still see uh, in the artwork. I've worked with color pencils for about 20, 25 years now, and I've always made uh, drawings, and those drawings have been uh, in preparation for um, artwork, uh, I mean oil paintings, um, and, uh, and always meant to stand alone as a, as a work and as an uh, art piece. Um, it's just been within the last 10 years that I've been primarily drawing with the color pencils. Um, I like them because they're very close to paint. They um, take a lot of time, and, um, but I've, I've found that they, I can work on them, I can leave them for a while, I can come back and work on them. Uh, so it gives me uh, more flexibility at this point than oil paint. with. With oil paint, I need a body of time to work on an oil painting. I work wet on wet where I'm blending. And uh, with blending oils, I usually will work from 10 to 12 hours. With a color pencil, I can, I can uh, let it go for a couple of days, come back to it, and still um, not have the surface change at all. They're based upon uh, slave ships. Um, that's why th it, the title is Cargo. Um, you have, I decided to use figures along the sides and in the center, uh, the figures are sitting with their arms crossed. And it becomes, it it's almost looks like a floral kind of pattern. The idea of the, um, figures used as pattern, uh, and that's exactly what I wanted the audience to, to see and to uh, realize, uh, and many times I have to point that out. With this series, what I've done is uh, I've used transparent colors, uh, the colors of the rainbow. The rainbow, uh, the colors of the rainbow represents uh, light, pretty much. If you take a light and uh, direct it through a prism, you'll get the spectrum or you'll get the rainbow. I have so many ideas in my head that I know I will never complete within my lifetime, but uh, uh, these are, I knew exactly um, uh, what I wanted to do. And uh, what's intuitive uh, has to do with the colors uh, as they, the color next to each other. Uh, I make decisions as I go, but everything else is pretty much planned. The self portraits of realism, and I can't see any other way because I, I want people to know what I look like. Uh, uh, there's one person who uh, said I, I look a little bit better than the self portraits, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> the abstractions, the abstractions, I guess, are really what I, uh, is really what I consider my serious. Um, works, uh, the works that I would like to be uh, known for. And um, it's really not a, um, a different mindset at all. Uh, I challenge myself, in a sense, when I'm working with realism because, you know, I do know and want to be able uh, 
for the audience to, to recognize objects and to feel the three-dimensionality, uh, but I also, with the abstract work, I want them to feel the, uh, uh, the, the different layers uh, of color uh, and experience the fact that uh, it, uh, it isn't just flat, you know, that there is movement. So it's a different kind of mindset in terms of execution. With all the self-portraits, I try to bring in uh, a sense of humor, uh, and everything in them um, have uh, symbolic meanings. Uh, the Egyptian self-portrait was, you know, uh, uh, quite naturally, uh, compositionally, uh, my head with the Sphinx, with the Giza pyramid, and it, it made a, an oval-type um, composition uh, where you looked around the artwork and you made that connect connection visually. And um, I was not, um, I, it, was, it was really a, a kind of playful kind of idea with uh, uh, taking um, those, those uh, images and um, placing myself in that situation. Uh, I'm part of today's world. And what I'm doing, I guess, is trying to make my mark there in, in some way or another. My work reflects um, a search, in a way, to, to have myself, um, to tell future generations that, yes, I was here.